Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, Tea Sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. And I have my boy Tiny back with me. So we're here. We want to really go into depth and talk about the whole King Von situation because this has now become mainstream news. When you have Inside Edition and, you know, the local news talking about it, it's definitely a big damn deal. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch um, this Inside Edition clip about King Von and um, the person who was charged with his murder. Y'all go ahead and check this out and then we're going to go ahead and start with the podcast. A 22-year-old man named Timothy Leakes is reportedly facing felony murder charges in connection with the death of King Vaughn. Police say the rapper was shot after an argument broke out between two groups of men in the parking lot of a lounge in Atlanta, and the argument escalated into gunfire between the groups. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says two off-duty Atlanta police officers were working a second security job nearby and responded to the shooting along with one APD officer who was on duty. One on-duty and one off-duty officer fired their weapons. In all, six men were shot during the altercation. The APD says they're aware of rumors speculating Vaughn was killed by police and say investigators believe Vaughn was killed before officers even arrived to that scene. Atlanta police and the GBI are still investigating. Vaughn, whose real name was Davon Bennett, was killed, along with one other man, 34-year-old Mark Blakely, who was also from Chicago. Vaughn grew up with rapper Lil Durk in Chicago and was signed to his label. Vaughn had just released his debut album, Welcome to O Block, in October. King Vaughn was 26 years old. New at 530, there are so many questions on social media surrounding a shooting downtown that killed Chicago rapper King Von and another man. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens has the latest on the investigation tonight. It's been almost a week since rapper King Von was shot and killed in Atlanta. His death has been a trending topic ever since then. Right now, GBI and APD are both investigating different segments of this case, leading to the arrest of two more people. Police say 26-year-old rapper King Von, whose real name is Davon Bennett, was one of six people shot last Friday near Trinity Avenue. Investigators say King Von and 34-year-old Mark Blakely both died after a shootout between two groups of men. In, but police say the arrest of 22-year-old Timothy Leakes completes the investigation into King Vaughn's murder. But they have not said who was responsible for Blakely's death and for shooting the other victims. In a previous interview, APD says two officers responded to the altercation and both fired their weapons, but they didn't know yet if they shot or injured anyone. We know that they're fired and there's a high probability, but we want to again be sure. King Vaughn's manager, who goes by 100K Management, has done interviews with hip-hop music insiders like DJ Academics stating he was grazed by a bullet during the gun battle. But he says most of the bullets sprayed that night came from police. The shooter already came to the same side he was in and shot him and shot myself. And from there, Vaughn was already on the ground. There was... In, the police started shooting everything else. APD requested GBI investigate the officer's use of force in this case, which is common when an officer fires a weapon. But several questions remain, like who are the other surviving victims, who shot them, and what led up to the original confrontation? There was one additional person that arrived at the hospital who was struck by a vehicle. And we reached out to King Vaughn's manager and some of his other associates to get their perspective on what happened that night. We'll let you know when we hear back. Right now, Timothy Leakes remains hospitalized, facing several charges, including felony murder. All right, tea sippers. So you guys just heard both of those news stories. So like I said, the situation is definitely serious and it's sad. And so we want to come on here and give our opinion on everything. Um, so where were you at, Tiny, when you heard about King Von's death? I think I was just at the crib, chilling, And I think my little brother hit me up. I was like, did you hear what happened? I was like, what? And he got to tell me. I was first, I was like, nah, prior rumor, we always hear about something that happened in Atlanta. Then I started seeing news reports coming out, like, almost right away. I was like, wow, this is real. 
Right. And I know it was like so many rumors initially that came out, you know, there wasn't a whole bunch of backstory. And then the uh, the manager did the interview the other day with DJ Academics. I mean, when you called me, you told me to go watch the interview. And I watched it. And I thought that the manager, you know, I had some issues with it. But for the most part, I felt like he kept it real. And, you know, he told his side of the story. But the fact that he went on to DJ Academics platform is kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird for me. Because this is the same guy who's good friends with 6 9 who's been making fun of your homeboy and your, the person that you're managing in his death. I felt like he was kind of giving an out for um, Quando Rondo. Because in a way, he basically said that King Von jumped out the car, you know, and he went to go fight Quando. Somebody told him that Quando was here. And then today we saw the second angle. The second angle came out today. Or is that the third angle? I don't know, there's like two other angles that came out today that I watched. And in that angle, you see King Von going up to Kwando and he punches him. And then the fight ensues and they're fighting. And then you see his homeboy, the little Tim or whatever his name is, he's kind of behind the car and he starts shooting. So a lot of people are saying that that can be considered self-defense because you came to attack his friend and he's defending his friend. Yeah, you had a, a swarm of people with you at the time, too. Mm hmm. You know, and it just goes back to this whole thing with the streets and, you know, keeping it real and the type of energy that people bring with them wherever they go. You know, King Von wasn't 18 or 19 years old. He was 26 years old. You know, and at 26, you're closer to 30 than you are to 20. But that mentality, until you're ready to change that type of mentality, is going to carry with you. And his whole thing was when I see that person, I'm about to pop off on sight. But the unfortunate part is a lot of times when we think about, you know, confronting somebody or doing something to somebody, we always look at ourselves as the victor. When I say I'm beat that person's ass, but we never think about, you know, what that person might do to us. Right. And I think that was where King Von was sadly mistaken. He looked at it like, OK, I'm coming here to fight. And maybe Quando Rondo was like, OK, well, I'm, you know, I'm here for the shits. Let's go. But somebody else was looking at that situation totally differently. They were looking at it in a life or death scenario. And I think that's the part that people need to take away from all of this is that sometimes certain things, it's just not worth it. This is very eerily similar to what happened with Tupac. Even down to the fact that he was 26, Tupac was what, 25 when he died? Uh huh. He pretty much literally almost did the same thing. Mm. Spur the moment, as soon as I see somebody. And remember, you know what? You're right, because remember, uh, Tupac didn't know what Orlando Anderson looked like. Remember, somebody had to tell Tupac, hey, that's Orlando. He's the dude who jacked us at the mall a week or two before. You know, and then Tupac got hyped up and, you know, they they fought and then he ended up getting killed. And, you know, of course, they said that his murder is unsolved, but people from the streets know that, you know what I'm saying, it had to do with, like, Orlando Anderson and all of those guys way back then. But, yeah, you know, people can get themselves into situations that they're just not prepared for because they're not seeing it all the way through. They're, they're just high on adrenaline and emotion. Emotion, that's a big word right there. A lot of this stuff could be avoided if people weren't in their feelings, being emotional. And no disrespect to them, he probably felt whatever he felt at the time. Look at the outcome. Look at the consequence. Look what it cost you. Right. And I think that's where a lot of people need to learn from this situation is that every fight is not worth it. And once you guys get to a certain level, it's like both of these young men, all of these young men, they all had things to live for. They were coming out of a situation that was very detrimental to being blessed to be able to, you know, I guess you could say, quote unquote, blessed because, you know, the industry can be a dark place. But. They're they're getting they're making it to a point where so many young people want to be. They want to be the next hot thing. They want to be on the billboards. Little Tim and Quando Rondo were doing a lot of music. They were actually they had just got done shooting a music video, I believe, a few hours before that with NBA Young Boy, who's one of the hottest in the game right now. You know, and then King Von just dropped his album um, last month in October. You know, he's making money now. His music is getting more well known. So it's just like. When you have things to lose, you have to move differently. What's up? Baby, let's go. 
Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.